Okay, hi guys. So this week we are going to do something really fun. For sec for second and third grade, we're gonna go to my website. Remember last week we did the winter urban landscape, and uh, this week, uh oh, what's going on here? Oh, um, it doesn't want to work. Let's try it here. Oh, uh, yeah, the, it connected. Okay, this week we're going to do a polar bear. We're going to be learning about cool colors. We're going to talk about implied texture and what is a three dimensional work. So our polar bear is going to be, uh, it's going to have three parts. We're going to have the hip part, body, and a head. Now we're going to make it look like it's three dimensional and also we're going to paint, kind of paint and no paint at the same time the background with cool colors first we're going to check what is a cool color <clears throat> now cool colors according to the theory of color is frio is a group of color from one half of the color wheel where you can see greens blues and purple uh, when you paint with this color they look like they recede in a space los colores fríos son una, la parte eh, o, o la mitad del de círculo cromático. Now let me just go to the color wheel, just in case if we forget this thing. Oh my gosh, good colors. No, oh my gosh, color wheel. Color wheel, I'm sorry. Excuse me. color wheel. Now, do you remember I showed you this so many times? Now, if you make a line somewhere along here, you're gonna see, let me just draw something on the screen. <coughs> this half, this half is the cool colors in the color wheel. Hmm? Uh, that's how we study uh, in, in art and this color they're supposed to receive now that's one thing then implied texture let's see what is implied texture because that's another one is the way that something looks as if when you see it you feel like you can touch it they give you the illusion of texture for example in this case you can see different objects and um, probably you're gonna think, okay, yeah, this is a, a, the texture. You can feel like it's a flower and a scales from the fish and so on. In Espanol, it's called textura implicita. And then we have the third word. It's gonna be three-dimensional. A three-dimensional work or tridimensional in Espanol, three is a number because we had three elements length, width, and height. In Spanish, it's the length, the profundity, and the alto of an object. So, las cosas que tú la puedes ver desde diferentes ángulos. It's something you can see it from different angles. That's what is the three dimensional work. Now, our polar bear is, as I told you, we're going to do, uh, we're going to first, we're going to work on the background and then we'll work in the, on the polar bear by itself. It's super fun. Okay. I'm using my camera today. Okay, we're gonna continue this thing. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take three cool colors. Usually you can see these three colors like a purple, light blue, blue, different kind of between purples and blue. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make a line, so our paper this way. 
a ver la altura de eso. Like no, y a home you don't have a spray bottle, I'm just going to make I'm gonna use a spray bottle. If you don't have this at home, you can use a paintbrush and water. And then we're gonna just spray just a little bit. At school, I'm gonna spray for the kids' work. Just a tiny little bit, not too much. Let me see. And then we're just gonna blend these colors. Just to have a cool color palette. This is going to be our background. The very cool, isn't it? This is the way I used to make my color paper when I was a kid. Anyway, this has to be only. Uh, it works better if you have a Crayola markers. They're really good because uh, they are. I don't know. It's just. I guess it's a better quality markers than the other brands so in another paper what i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw my polar bear <coughs> first i'm gonna go with the head oh my goodness, the ears, then i'm gonna do i'm gonna draw the front of the front at the body and then i'm gonna do the same thing and the same thing is that the, the second one is supposed to be the back of his body. The back of his body is going to be bigger. I'm just going to do this one. Just going to make it cute. And I'm going to cut some strips of paper. Kind of like that. I don't have to do that thing. Just in case. And then, oh, sorry. And then his line. And then after that, we add the rest of the details. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just make an area where I don't gonna put any crayons. Because I'm gonna use my crayons to make my implied texture of the fur. fur. The texture implicit del el, el pelaje del oso. Now I'm gonna use different kind of colors. I'm gonna use black, purple, and maybe some blue. Just like that, it doesn't have to be color all the way, you know. So then I have the face, and I'm gonna leave this face like that. Oh, it looks like a cat. And then also I'm gonna do the fur in his face and so on. Alright, now these little strips of paper is gonna be for this purpose. You're gonna make a little ring with one paper, kind of this way, and then we're going to glue it in, in this part of the bear. Okay, kind of like that. Then, we are going to glue the rest of the bear on, on top of the thing, the ring we did previously. Oh, my glue is just all gooey and stuff. Now for the head, instead to make a ring, we can do a ring also. But because the ring is not gonna wobble, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a, a, a we're gonna make like a chain. Is it not oh, no, I'm sorry, this was my strip. Um and most of the kids they know how to do this, but okay. I'm gonna make a zigzag line, I'm gonna do a deep It doesn't have to be too long. I think I have to cut my. Ah, oh, jeez, I cut my thumb yesterday, and now I'm gonna make a line. Let me see. And a bit. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna use longer strips. And then why not? I'm just gonna do the glue right there. 
gonna put some glue over here. Oh, it's hard to work with it. Ah, oh, with the bandage. And then I'm gonna glue this part of the body as <coughs> gonna glue the head over here just to make my bear look wobbly now the paper I use is kind of thick they don't like too much and we're gonna put it here in the middle of the paper so it's supposed to ruffle now all here in the bottom what we're gonna do is I'm gonna mix white paint so we're gonna use our fingers if you don't have white paint, you, what you can do, you can put some um, a piece of white paper, like if he's in the tundra over there, and it is super calm, and we can make some snowflakes. You can use some glitter if you want to use the glitter. If you don't want to use the glitter, that's okay. No. And then we're going to glue, oh, the paper is already dry. And we are going to glue our bear, which is here. Super easy. It's <laughs> so funny. Okay, guys, have fun.